Hey folks, this is SJ. Welcome to a new Let's Play of Victoria 2. And today we'll be taking part into Quebec. I just released it from the UK. And we're still a puppet. And we'll be located in North America. So let's see what we could possibly do at this stage that will make us able to do anything. <laughs> If that makes sense. Alright, so let's see our neighbors. We have the United Kingdoms, which we are a puppet of. And we also have the USA, which are not quite friendly with us, but at least, as you can see, uh, since we are a satellite or dominion, there's nothing we can do against them and there's nothing they can do against us. So it's kind of good for us at this time. And on the budget level, I think it would be a good idea to hmm, modify the Parti Conservateur, no thank you. Protectionist and laissez faire, I don't want that. Let's go for state capitalist, protectionist, moralist, residency, jingoist. That's the perfect party for us. Some reactionary party. So we'll be able to. Ah, we can increase tax, right? Hmm, oh well, we'll keep the tax at that level, but we'll reduce the military spending, we don't need any standing army. We'll also increase the tariffs, and you see everything is at zero because uh, since we're a freshly released country, there's nothing that had been set yet for us, so there's no real way to see the expenses or whatever of that so we have to start playing the game to start seeing any spending going on but 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 i'll just set up everything first and i think the first technology i'd want to research is medicine for a quite simple reason because i want to get uh the pressure chamber for drag surgery first that would grant us a plus 10 prestige which will be Quite good for us. Let's go down with that and let's set up in the Quebec and attract immigrants. Oh, it's na national focus. I'm losing my word tonight. And with this national focus here, we'll be able to get a lot more people coming our side because as you can see, the population is terrible 169,000. There's no way. Even though we have two provinces, there is absolutely no way we can build any real power with this little population. But we have a good point, because uh, our accepted population is French-Canadian. And as you can see, uh, these are not right, no, these are Cree. But there's a couple of spots that do have some French-Canadian, for example, right here on Ottawa. And also in the area here, I believe, in Caribou and uh, in New England, there's a little bit of French Canadian, so that will be a prime target for expansion. And also in uh, the Atlantic, the Maritimes, the, I don't know how you name them. It's named New Brunswick, but there's more than New Brunswick in New Brunswick as it's set up. But there's a part of French Canadian there, so we'll be able to take over that once Can is released, or we'll see how it goes down with uh, Britain. So let's start speeding up the game, see. Okay, the economy does good, so let's increase the education, and also, ah, alright, now we can increase taxes. Great. So the economy does very well, we're having maximum education and administration. We don't support any kind of military, but that's not a problem. And we're full on onto, how is it called? Uh, yes, immigration here. And I think it might be a good idea to take a look now at our production. So our population produces a lot of timber, but nothing else really. Absolutely nothing else. Eesh, that's not good. So I think it will be a good idea to build a factory here for... Uh, we can only build cement now. 
But I'd like to wait until we can build lumber mill. Well, why is it so expensive? Yeah, I don't think it will be worth it. Maybe a cement factory will actually be worth it. So let's see with that. And the worst case, we'll just destroy it. Alright, so let's make sure spending is up to the up. So we buy all the requirement to for the construction. Alright, so now the construction is started. And this is the little downside of playing as a dominion or puppet is that there's absolutely nothing you can do. And I don't care about you, US. Uh, guess they intervene to the Texan War. Let's see what they're doing. Yes, statical for Texas, so they will probably get the state very soon on them. Poor Mexico. Mexico. Nothing you can do against the US and Texas. Now maybe one day they'll learn, or I will play them to show how Texas is supposed to be conquered. But right now our problem lies a little bit more in the north and the frozen wasteland of Quebec. And we're getting a lot of unemployed people. That's interesting. And let's see, current status of clergy, 1.26%. And it seems to be increasing, I believe, just due to the sheer amount of immigration we receive and the budget we have assigned to education at the maximum. That will allow us to uh, instantly get... Where can I see that? Yeah, I can see that. But it does increase the clergyman when you increase the education budget. So now we'll be waiting until we start pulling enough cash to start doing interesting things here. Like, ah, oh, maybe we can build railroad a bit everywhere. Where can we, where can we build railroads? Ah, it's expensive. <laughs> Didn't expect it to destroy our budget. I don't know how we'll be physically able to get out of the, the spot we're stuck in. Uh, hopefully we won't just be an exit by Canada when they get their freedom, that would be sad. A very sad ending to this let's play. Okay, so they want to build a railroad, let's help them for investors. Go back to Quebec, I think one of the good things we could do in this let's play is just to simply gain our own independence from the English reign. So let's see if we can do that. If we can, then maybe we'll be able to grab uh, at least maybe in top eight, so we become a great power. Will that be a little bit overshot, or do we have a chance? Hmm. I guess that will be to be seen. But one thing that's for sure we don't have any chance will be any kind of colonization in Africa or even Asia or anywhere. First, we cannot invade any country, so that's a, a forget it right off the bat. And second, uh, when we'll get to the point we'll be fighting for independence or be granted, depending on how we obtain it, when we'll have your in. Independence that will allow us free move, free thought, whatever, will probably still not be a secondary power, and probably Africa will have been colonized for a very long time, so there will be nothing left for us. Okay, so we're losing a bit of position still, we're now 51. Vaccination, that's good, it's a good discovery, but at least we're 7 in the industrial power. So let's see factory. How well does it go? Ah, not too bad. We're missing a lot of stuff. But hey, it's better than nothing. Yeah, it's getting, it's losing money. That's not really a surprise to me, but anyway. It's if maybe something would be more profitable. Probably fabric factory. Okay, so clinical something. It's already been four years. Yeah, I think it will be a short let's play. <laughs> we'll probably finish it before even getting anywhere and still being a puppet. Okay, so 
Uh, there is one fate and one fate only. Likely to become something more than just a little puppet in North America that never got a chance to shine. Ah, seems like British can only be as being colonized here. Uh, so yeah, Prometheus. Conservative him. Uh, do I want conservative party? Conservatar. No. I don't think. I don't want that. I really. Yeah, I think I'll just keep them and raise the militancy. Find a way to raise the militancy. What can we do? Ah, people are so happy in Orlando. That's unfortunate. I was sad that I did not expect to have so many nice reforms already pre-selected. I should have taken a look at first, but still. You know, I'm I'm always like that. I do things the wrong way. At least I eventually end up getting around it. <laughs> wow. Finally get the pressure chambers for thorax surgery. It's worth only two prestige. It's boring. That kind of game is totally boring. Just waiting, sitting here, doing nothing in North America. Just looking at the map, looking at how the US are expanding like crazy. Oh, they're not. But that's good, that's good for us. The weaker they stay, the more likely we'll be able to take their New England state. And that will be sweet when we'll be able to do so. Because right now we are far from being able to do anything. With the 127th position for military score, I it makes me believe we have the worst score of history there. So let's see current top status. Ah, oh, France is growing strong. Interesting. Right, let's go for realism. Anyway, it does not really matter what we do. We only want to. Ah, maybe education efficiency and calling on migration would have been a god's gift to us, but I didn't choose it, so that would be the next one. Ah, plus one prestige, great. Mm, gets us the 44th place. It's getting tight, we're almost. Ah, what do I want? Assimilation rate, yes, I want assimilation rates. And suffrage movement, I don't care. I really don't care about you suffrage movement. You can vote all you want. It's already almost universal vote. I don't know what they want. These people are funny sometimes. Eight years and we're still doing not much. That's pretty sad realization. But that allows me right here to say that it's probably a good idea to finish this part here and I thank you for watching of course it was uh, probably quite boring but hopefully it's just uh, a cornerstone that will build a great empire in North America kick off Britain's kick off USA conquer everything well most likely not but at least maybe make it into secondary power that will be quite pleasant for me because uh, there's no real challenge otherwise, it's uh, more an economical simulation than militaristic expansion. But we never know, we'll be able to find that in the next episode. And meanwhile, I'll give you my thanks for watching my let's play. If you kind of enjoy me talking over a picture of Quebec, please let me know in the comment, or give me a like, or give me a share, or even subscribe. Or you can always hit me up on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you very much for watching.